All right, so we're gonna go over how this um, template works. And so when you copy the Airtable database, you're gonna have, um, you're gonna see these two views. One is combo, one is fiction rating, and then the prompt form. Um, this prompt form is where you're gonna submit your prompt. Um, and then it's grabbing the templates from here. So these are the ones that I, included and you can of course add more as you you know or delete whatever you want uh and so these are the um the, the actual prompts um a brief description the url the loom these are this is a url um they're loom videos by rob um he's the one that sent uh you know created these prompts um and i'll add a link uh to his uh the source um but the way it works is that the form is your starting point, right? So let's say you want to um, create a prompt for, let's do this, um, write a story, whatever. Um, and um, so it's just the name, right? Uh, the title of it, and then the templates. Uh, so it's grabbing the templates from, from here allowing you to um, add them here. So first you want to format using a markdown um, and then we want to, um, uh, let's say a persuasive storyteller, right? So we'll copy this and here is where it's going to grab the actual input and GPT is going to process that, right? So write a story about vicious dogs and how to train um, and let's maybe challenge the, that one, right? Um, GPT version, there's convo and there's fiction. Uh, this is for, to get, to help you organize your, um, different, your different, uh, prompts, uh, the output. So this is, to, you know, uh, actually, I'm sorry, fiction, because it's actually right. So about just convo, whatever, um, we want it to a Google Doc. So if you check it, then it's going to send it to a Google Doc. Okay. I hit submit. And you're done. And then here's the actual automation in Zapier. Um, the outline. And so, um, new record in Airtable. That means that when this form is submitted, um, the air, this, uh, this is the trigger, right? Um, process the conversation. Um, so, uh, you see here, user message. Uh, this is a, um, the user submission goes first and then whatever prompts you add after. So you can, um, if you add multiple prompts, they're all going to go after the user submission. If you need to tweak it or, you know, this is constantly getting updated, then this is where you would want to, um, uh, make the changes. Um, instructions, you know, you're a, a helpful assistant. You can experiment. Memory key, this is to memorize, um, you know, you can leave it blank, we leave it blank for now. And then um, once that is uh, processed, then it goes back into Airtable and it's gonna update the um, the output, right? So it's gonna update this, uh, it's called the assistant response message. So we go here, this is the output right here. Um, and then it's gonna also, um, uh, continue, then you can send the Slack message. This is optional, um, but it sends me a Slack message. And then if the checkbox, um, is marked, Google doc says send to Google doc, this right here, if that's true. Um, then, uh, now you can use te there's you can do text, you can do, um, exist, um, you know, I just did that. Uh, and if it passes, then it's going to continue and it's going to create the actual Google Doc. If not, then it just ends there. If it's not, um, uh, you know, it's a filter basically. So then, um, create a document from text. Um, it's the title, the document name is this name right here. Um, so be sure to, you know, make it a good one. At least so you can recognize your documents. I have it in this folder. That's where it's going to actually create the document in and then um 
then I go back and I update the actual record with the, the link. And this is the alternate link. So these are right here. And boom. Um, now it's marked down and I, I didn't have time to fix this. The, you can fix it so it, it um, doesn't add that little thing in the space. You can do that on your own, tweak it, so that way it's all, the headings are already set up, or you can just, you know, fix it like I did. Um, and then, that's it. So, then you have your inputs and outputs all in one place here. These are your templates. Um, when you want to add a new prompt, let's say you want to add, um, you know, you're going to use this form. Uh, and it's just going to ask you, okay, what's the name of the prompt? Here's where you're going to input the prompt, and then if you want to add a description, and then you would have it would come up here, and then you would be able to use that uh, prompt. And that's it. Um, you guys have any questions? Let me know.